Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Today, I'm reading an article from Bustle.com, and the title is Essential Oils for Pain Relief That Actually Work. Very, very excited. I have not done a video um, that speaks specifically on pain relief for essential oils. Uh, keep in mind, I'm not an MLM, I'm not selling any oils. This is just me learning um, so I can make my own essential oils, buy in bulk and make my own essential oils. So first off, pretty pleased with the cherry on top. Share this video in groups. Uh, share this video on your personal profile. Um, you know, Let us know um, where you're from, your fitness and health goals, um, and what your experience is with essential oils. Hello, Amir. Hello, Felicia. If you all want to join me on the chat, just send me an invite and we can get to know each other um, and we can kind of um, just kind of wrap together. So here we go. I'm just going to read it and then I'm just going to comment and we're going to learn together. So it says, it's, e it's easy to be skeptic about the effectiveness of the use of essential oils when it comes to physical or mental health issues, especially when many people peddle them out as a cure-all. However, there is a growing body of scientific research to support the use of essential oils for pain relief and anti-inflammation. And, and, and since chronic inflammation, aka your body's immune system response to physical irritation and stress, can be a central cause of chronic pain and many health conditions, it can be super helpful to incorporate foods, herbs, and yes, even essential oils with anti-inflammatory properties into your daily routine. Very excited. So it's going to list, I think, nine or ten essential oils, and it's going to list the beneficial facts um, from inflammation and to stress. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Rachel. So pretty please share this video in groups, health groups, um, and let's just keep playing. So here we go. It says, essential oils are used in many different ways. Some people prefer to inhale them through a rare, um, aromatherapy, others like aromatherapy massage, and some people straight up ingest certain essential oils like peppermint via capsule. Um, peppermint actually works really, really well to rid um, your house or dogs of fleas. I have learned that so far. It's a good natural way to rid uh, fleas. So it says, of course, you can't just go lathering these potent oils on your skin or ingesting them because they can cause mild irritation and toxicity in large amounts. So that's why I suggest, you know, you kind of learn about them and play with them, you know, capsule form, um, you know, on your skin, on your face, the aromatherapy, um, and make your own, make your own. There's so many MLM, MLM companies out there, y'all. I get hit up with thousands of messages a day and most most of them are LMMs trying to, you know, push their essential oils on me. And you know, when, when there's a third person involved, a fourth person involved, or you have to buy these certain quotas, it's pretty much, you know, they have to make money. And so, you know, in my opinion, these essential oils that MLMs sell are probably going to be diluted and not the highest quality where if you do your own research and buy in bulk and make your own, you know, that's going to be fun. You're going to learn and, uh, you know, it's better for you. and better for your budget as well. So it says, but after consulting with your physician, I don't know about all that, I say just play and learn You know what works for you. Um, if essential oils are used or administered correctly, they can promote physical and mental relaxation. From lavender, I love the smell of lavender, y'all. Um, and I learned two weeks ago that the lavender herb or the lavender plant is actually a really good repellent for mosquitoes um, and it just smells amazing if you look at all the um, a lot of lotions a lot of candles potions um, even teas have lavender so it's very medicinal <clears throat> so it says from lavender to uh, <clears throat> to evening uh, primrose oil here are nine essential oils that can help calm pain according to science hello Kelly you joined me over here thank you so peppermint oil as the New York Times reported in 2011, research suggests peppermint oil is an effective method in managing irritable bowel syndrome, which is IBS, which can include abdominal pain and bloating. Through all the videos that I'm doing, 
IBS is rampant. IBS is a huge, huge disease. Um, you know, people have this issue in chronic IBS. Um, and so the more natural ways that you can cure it, number one, eating real foods, eliminating processed foods, eliminating a lot of the chemicals and additives from foods, and eating, you know, a high fiber, uh, you know, a very easily digestible diet, my opinion will help with IBS, but we're about ready to learn that peppermint, peppermint oils can help with that too. So further, the National Center for Complementary and Integrative Medicine, peppermint oil has been used topically for tension headaches and limited amount of evidence suggests that it might be helpful for this purpose. While you should still consult with your doc first, I say just play and, and see what works for you, Consider using peppermint essential oils if you have IBS, chronic headaches, or even muscle aches, right? That, that just shows you nature. Nature cures all, y'all. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is, right? Nature cures all. If you look at a lot of the fruits, the nuts, the seeds, it looks like our body parts. If you think about it, like look at a tomato, you know, look at a walnut, it looks like of our brain, right? When you cut a carrot, it looks like our eyes, right? And carrots help eyes. We're made from the from you know nature, y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're we're what, 80% water? And so these herbs, the essential oils, of course they're gonna be medicinal. But but and this is why I learned, so if we know which one works for us, I might be allergic to peppermint. So I wouldn't want to play with peppermint. But if I find out it helps with chronic headaches, I'm going to get and I'm going to create and I'm going to make the best peppermint oil on planet Earth. Like that's just the way I operate. So let's keep going. So the second one is rosehip oil. So it says the organization Arthritis Research UK says rosehip oil contains polyphenols, antioxidants, and anthocyanins, which I don't know what that is, the dark blue pigment of many foods and plants, which can help reduce inflammation and joint pain, making it an effective essential oil for managing pain. The anti-inflammatory benefits of rosehip oil may make it a good option for people who cannot take non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or other pain medicines. So, I would say if you deal with pain, right, or inflammation, and you're taking a prescription drug that may, might cost you hundreds of, hundreds of dollars a month, or that prescription drug might, you know, give you a side effect where you have to take another prescription drug and another prescription drug, why not play with some uh, rosehip oil, do like a two-week trial, and if it works, you get rid of all of the anti-inflammation, you get rid of uh, the pain. So it'd be a, a natural pain management, which would be cents on the dollar compared to a lot of the other things. And then you can get off all those other prescription drugs that might be causing other things. So you can get rid of all these band-aids and use, you know, planet Earth, right? So here we go. This one is lavender oil. Lavender oil is best known for aiding people with sleep issues and anxiety but it also may be useful if you are experiencing pain or headaches. A 2012 study found that inhaling lavender essential oil safely relieving migraine pain in the research participants. Moreover, a study from 2015 found lavender essential oil has both anti-inflammatory and analgesic, which is a pain relieving properties, making it a perfect essential oil for both mental and physical health. That's lavender oil. Um, a lot of um, the bubble baths, um, the the salt, uh, you know, the, the the salt, the bath salts, um, have had lavender, and, and it's just amazing. And this is why. This is why, um, because it's it's medicinal. You know, it, it's for mental and physical pain. And so I'm really, because I just love the smell of lavender. Um, I'm really, really going to get into lavender uh, and research it and play with it. I mean, I want just an array of essential oils, you know, that I made, 
you know what that I grew that I produced and then I'll find like a concoction I'll find you know what maybe works for me in the morning you know if I have a little bit of a headache coming on in the afternoon maybe I can use that or maybe in the evening if I want to go to sleep I can have my lavender and I know I watched it grow from the ground from planet earth and then I created the essential oil you know what I mean? This stuff really, really intrigues me. And the more I go deep in this, you know, the more I'm going to explore um, and the more that I hope that I can heal myself and maybe share this information with you all. Evening primrose oil. So we'll read that. Hello, Sarah. How are you? So if anybody wants to come on with me and, and chat and, and just talk about today, go ahead and send me an invite and we can wrap. Look at all that lemon in there, y'all. Lemon does a body good. <clears throat> Let's continue, okay? So it says, evening primrose oil. If you experience PMS symptoms or cramping during your time of the month, which a lot of people call moon cycle, evening primrose oil could be a great way to manage your menstrual related pain. A 2009 article published in the American Family Physician explained evening primrose oil is commonly used as a treatment for breast pain, menopausal and PMS symptoms, and to reduce inflammation. Despite promising studies, the reported additional research needs to be done before the efficiency of this essential oil is determined. I'm finding um, a pattern here is that a lot of these essential oils are anti-inflammatory. Um, you know, they're pain um, medications, um, you know, uh, headache medications. And it's, you know what I'm saying? It's real. And I think a lot of the bloating, or I know for personal experience, a lot of uh, bloating, abdominal pain, energy, you know, lack of energy, you know, rashes on skins, IBS, um, not being able to sleep, all of that stuff is caused by what you put in your body by the standard American diet and what I call yummy nastiness. And so when you use these herbs and you use these these medicinal oils, you know, especially if you make them own and you get a high, high, like um, a high dose of them. I mean, it, that's what medicine is. It's like we don't. I could go on and on. I'm not going to repeat myself, but this stuff, I'm really going to go really, really deep in because. I, I want to try all of these, all of these, you know, and I don't want to be a part of an MLM. I don't want to have to, you know, buy something. I don't want to be on team, you know, what are they, uh, doTERRA or team, this, this, this. I want to make my own. So then, you know, I can, I can experiment on the process on how I made this essential oil. Um, when I picked the lavender, um, when I picked the flaxseed, how I grew it, how much light it got, how much water it got, how I dried it, how I extracted the oil. So I can do four or five different lavender oils. Then I can play with it on an empty tummy, a fasted tummy, what I ate that day, if I got a lot of vitamin D, if I worked out that day, whatever it is, whatever my stress levels is. And then through my research, through my personal experience, I don't need a certification from doTERRA or these hundreds of MLMs to be, you know, a knowledgeable little ninja on essential oils. I want to do the research myself. I want to grow them. I want to produce them and make them and use them on my body. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll know what's up. I'll be a little essential oil, a little rad little ninja, right? Here we go. Flaxseed oil. Okay, I love flaxseed, y'all. Uh, they got flaxseed milk. Um, they got uh, flaxseed supplements. Flaxseed is, is, is um, a very, very um, good, healthy fat. So it says, like omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, making this oil super beneficial, uh, making this oil super beneficial to your overall health. Specifically, the Arthritis Foundation says some people claim ingesting essential flaxseed oil eases symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, and Raynard's, Ray, Ray, Raynard's uh, phenomenon. But more studies need to be done to confirm flaxseed oil's impact on arthritis symptoms. However, omega-3 fatty acids do have anti-inflammatory properties, so that, so that fact alone means digesting and ingesting flaxseed oil could help ease the pain. Um, I've played with a couple flaxseed oil 
supplements. Um, I never really finished them all. I used to put them in um, my smoothies. Um, I know I know one of them used to make me go to the restroom really really fast and I think probably it's just because I maybe ingested too much of it. Again, anti-inflammatory, anti-arthritic, what are epidemics, arthritis, diabetes, um, all of this stuff, lupus, all of these things are diseases that are that we're not born with. Um, you know, and a lot of people would say, well, I, you, you are born with it, you know, and there might be, there are some cases that you are born with these ailments, um, but who's to say, you know, a super, super specific high, high dose continually cannot reverse what you're born with, you know? I don't know, you know, it takes people to discover, you know, on their own rather than counting on big pharma when we know their interests are only their stock, shareholders, and the bottom line. And it's free to grow these things, you know what I'm saying? That's what's amazing, and that's what I'm so passionate about, is nature, and that's why I'm gonna become a master gardener, because it's like all of this is free, and like I had a hard time eating my Russian kale. I was like, that's, those are my little twins, y'all, you know, those are my triplets, you know? So you eat like, you know, three kales, but you gotta prune it, you know, you gotta show love onto it. And so I'm learning that it's okay to eat my fruits and herbs and vegetables because that's what I'm, you know, you know, harvesting them for. Um, but it's such a beautiful, beautiful thing. And I am such a rookie, and this is why I'm sharing my experience, so maybe something that I share with you, we learn together, you ninja flip and go create a heart-shaped garden. You ninja flip and create some cucumbers. You know, you ninja flip and, and make, you know, uh, a eucalyptus oil. You know, maybe that eucalyptus oil will help your grandfather, you know, when he's going through, you know, some sort of cancer, whatever it is, the knowledge is out there and I like to find it by myself and I'm more motivated, more inspired by nature than anything and there's so much that I have to learn. Like, I'm gonna be 169 and I'll probably only learn, you know, a quarter of one thousandth percent of what is out there, you know, in the universe um, through either frequency or whatever you call spirituality um, or religion, whatever it is, you know, in all of it, all of it is free. That's the thing, the personal sovereignty that I talk about. You know, you don't want to be owned by anybody's ideology. You don't want to be on team this or team that. Be you, be radically, authentically you, and heal yourself through nature for free. Clary sage oil. What what? Clary sage oil is a flowering a flower a flower ring. I think we're all flowers, right? We all blossom. We all have our own weeds. We just gotta sit with the weeds, you know, sit with the pain and the fear and de weed, you know. Um, but it's a flowering herb that is part of the mint family. I got a whole bunch of mint over there, y'all. And in the mornings I like to make a mint stevia little rad little roll-up sandwich and it will make your mouth like the most freshest most amazing thing you will not have any stink breath for like four hours you can't buy that you know and mint grows fast y'all i'm having a little bit difficulty with the um stevia but i'm working on that it's my first you know stevia plant but the mint really really easy to grow it's got to get some sunlight it's got to get lots of water and it just goes 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 and mint all day, every day, mint oil, come on, mint, it's, you know, mint's all over the place. In fact, I would love to show you, in fact, when, when I'm gonna ninja flip over there, and I'll show you my mint before, before we go, because I'm really proud of my mint. So, clary sage oil. Clary sage is a flowering herb that is part of the, the mint family, and it is used in cookies, teas, aromatherapy, and for natural medicinal purposes. A 2017 study conducted on rats found that antioxidants in clary sage oil may give the oil its anti-inflammatory effects. Additionally, a 2012 study found an essential oil massage that used a mix of clary sage, I have some sage over there, some lavender, and, and uh, uh, reduced both, re reduce both intensity and heat duration of dysmorphia, this monarphia. I don't know these words, y'all. And this is why, see, if I read this, I would have to like pause and then go research and then research. I'm just going to skip that part. Uh, in addition to reducing inflammation and relieving pain, studies have found clary sage essential oil can lower blood pressure, calm anxiety, 
and even improve your mood and all in one this healthy smelling essential oil is packed with benefits for your health all right i gotta get on the clary sage oil that just seems like a like an all-in-one multi-purpose essential oil that one right there the clary sage oil just seems like a no-brainer every single day to probably even digest put in soups uh, aro you know aromatherapy breathe it in you know a nice little massage with it so I I am that's gonna be one of my goals I'm gonna add it to the list is study um, intense uh, very intense about the clary sage oil that seems just like a super super uh, power essential oil so the next one hi Vicki hi Rebecca the next one eucalyptus oil and I wanted to let you all know, since I've been doing this thing for almost two years through Optimal Reset and Ridiculously Raw Authentic, I've been approached by hundreds, not if thousands, of MLM companies, um, you know, to you know product placements or to join their MLMs, but even just companies to you know market their stuff. And I just never have. I've never done it um, because I don't think I think you should just give information. I'm getting this information for free, and so why? Why charge somebody for that when you can just, you know, share them your knowledge, share what you're learning, and then, you know, as I become more informed, creating my own essential oils, and then teaching you all, and then so you can teach somebody. There's no reason to do any of that essential oil nonsense MLMs, y'all. It's done, and it's rampant, y'all. They're really, really sneaky, too. Um, I get it. It's a side hustle. That's what you got to do. I say just explore and do it yourself. So, here we go. Eucalyptus oil. A study published in the Journal of Ethnopharmacology in 2003 found that eucalyptus oil, often utilized in traditional medicine, has both pain-relieving and anti-inflammatory properties. Further, research from 2013 found that inhaling eucalyptus essential oil reduced pain and lowered blood pressure and study participants who had recently underwent total knee replacement surgeries. If you're experiencing aching or pain, sit back and relax with peppermint eucalyptus bath bomb. Now that intrigues me. Make your own peppermint. We just read about peppermint. You can make your own peppermint eucalyptus bath bomb. What, what? Excited about that too. Rosemary oil. I have some rosemary over there. You probably think of rosemary mostly in terms of cooking, but the essential oil of this popular herb has been found to be one of the most widely used oils in ar ar aromatherapy that's aimed to reducing pain. A 2015 study even found that rosemary oil does in fact have analgesic properties and it's an effective um, adjunct treatment to pain medication. Very, very cool. Look at these, most of these pain relief, most of these anti-inflammatory, right? I mean, in its nature. Now here's one, this one's fun. This one, this one will be fun. So this one is juniper, juniper berry oil. Had no clue juniper oil even existed. So, and this is the last one, it says, though juniper berry essential oil has not been as widely researched, I've never heard of it, as other essential oils have, a 2017 study from the Journal of Cogent or Cognate Medicine found juniper berry oil affected many important signaling pathways that are closely related to met, uh, uh, metabolism, uh, metab metabolism, which is you know how you burn fat and calories, inflammation, immune response, wound healing, and cancer biology. So adding it to an essential oil mix for pain relief and relaxation may be helpful for you. That seems like a super, a super, you know, they say superfoods. That seems like a super essential oil, right? While essential oils won't cure chronic pain or muscle aches, there are yet another tool you can use to improve your overall health and well being. Just be sure to check in. I don't even want to read that. So I like that. I, I'm going to read that again. While essential oils won't cure chronic pain or muscle aches, there are yet another tool you can use to improve your overall health or well-being. Just like a lot of people say pharmaceutical drugs are tools or recreational drugs. You know, I'm, I, I, you know I, I'm a drug addict even though I don't do drugs anymore and I'm an alcoholic and I've you know, beat prescription drug addiction. And so those were tools, those were band-aids. So why not use these tools 
they might be band-aids but they're raw they're real and they come from you know planet earth they come from the ground and you never know like check this out the two that caught my attention the most is the juniper berry oil that one and the cleary sage oil those two oils are like a super power ones from what i've read so now through my experiment through me playing and not regurgitating what everybody else is saying or selling i'm gonna learn on my own and i might find like a killer mashup a killer mix-up a you know a, just a perfect not killer a rad mashup a rad mix a rad just concoction um you know of a tonic and then it might just take care of just everything i might be pissing glitter and smelling like peaches levitating and meditating at 169 under a coconut tree quicker if i play with these and these arenas and, and 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 really just hone in on what works for me what works for my biology what works for my dna and so i really enjoyed this video it's time for me to play with these oils hopefully you all enjoyed these um, Vicky says I just ordered black seed oil massive benefits um, very very cool black seed oil never heard of it Vicky says I use rose oil and spitzer keep it in the refrigerator OMG awakens my senses Vicky thank you so much so you use rose oil in a spitzer is that like a carbonated water um, how do you do that is it more of like a tea beverage and it awakens my senses very very cool rose oil awesome Vicky pretty pleased with the cherry on top Share this video in groups. Um, share this video in health groups, juicing groups, diet groups, depression groups, anxiety groups, um, inflammation groups, IBS groups. Pretty pleased with the cherry on top. I'm gonna do these videos as long as you keep engaging and we keep learning. Um, and so thank you very much. Um, it is Thursday, it's Thirsty Thursday. I will be doing a juice recipe in the What What Love Shack. Um, before I let you go, let's go look at my mint, okay? Check this out. I want to show you this too. Look what has grown around my love sign. Do you see that? Do you all see that? How beautiful is that? I'm telling you all, put the work in, harvest that self-love, and beautiful things happen. So let me turn this off so I can show you my mint. Show you my mint. Show you my mint with all the extra, extra what, what. Hi, Nikki. So check this mint out, y'all. Cause it's like grease lightning. Tell me more. Tell me more like it's never before. I'll do a video on mint too. Okay. Look at this. Look at that. So I am going to find a way to extract this mint, maybe with the press, whatever it is. Because look how much I have. You know, you can go to Piggly Wiggly, Albertsons, Fry's, Whole Foods, and to get just this much, right? Probably this much right here. This much right here. They're going to charge you six to seven dollars, depending on where you're at, right? Six to seven dollars. So if you want to think about finance, if you want to think about money, the dollar that rules the world, this bush right here in people's reality is probably worth $200. And it's free. It's medicinal. It tastes good. It makes you feel good. It makes you act appropriate, right? It's um, delicious and it's beautiful. So you put beautiful things in your body, you're going to be beautiful as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I love you. Keep it raw. Stay rad. What what?